Kai Campbell from Team Tekken here, and if you're a drag racer, I come bearing gifts and you're going to want to pay attention. We've got a brand new Hotwire build available on the Team Tekken website right now for download, and it includes V280 Eliminator drag racing software for our ESCs. You can install this in your RX-8 Gen 3, your RX-4, RS Pro Black Edition, RSX Pro, RS Gen 3, and your RS Gen 3 spec. Now new features in V280 include launch power, power delay, launch boost, and turbo in sensorless drive. Now launch power lets you set the percentage of throttle you want your car to leave the starting line at. This is really handy for tuning your vehicle to leave consistently on just about any surface. To go along with launch power, we've got power delay, so you can set the time in seconds that you want it to take for your ESC to reach 100% throttle after your launch power has initiated. We've also got launch boost, which is an advanced user setting that is an RPM based setting rather than time like our two new features, and you can use it to create a more aggressive launch and a more aggressive pull to full throttle. This is an advanced setting, I would recommend everybody set the other two first and then start playing with launch boost. Last but not least, turbo in dual mode. Now Teak in dual mode is censored start, sensorless for high RPM running, and previously you could only adjust your 30 degrees of advance in sensorless drive via an RPM range. Now you've got turbo just like censored, so you can set the delay that it takes for turbo to engage after you've reached full throttle, and you have ramp rate to control how quickly that turbo is going to come in. We've also enhanced and updated our data logging with two new features you can record. And the first one is PWM or pulse width modulation. This graph is going to show you exactly what the ESC is putting out to the motor at any given time during your run. So it's super handy for using these new features to see the PWM line and how it reacts and how your ESC is actually controlling the throttle. And last but not least on data logging, battery ripple monitoring. Now don't panic, battery ripple can look really scary, but there's always going to be ripple in these high current, low voltage applications. So battery ripple is just another tool that you can use to figure out if there's an issue with your motor or your batteries, if your setup's too hot, and it's going to show that in the ripple log. So we're going to cover all these settings in a little mini series of short videos individually so we can go more into depth. But right now, get over there and download the new Hotwire and check it out for yourself. And while you're at it, head over to Facebook and join the Team Tekken RC Drag Racing Facebook group. Jim and I are in there to answer questions and help people with their setups. There are lots of fast racers and people in there that you can gain some knowledge from. So we hope to see you there.